Sir Michael Caine, a British acting legend, has left us with an incredible body of work through a career that spans more than six decades. His humble beginnings as the son of a fish market porter and a charwoman did not foretell the cinematic icon he'd become. His journey to stardom began in the 1960s, and his prolific career boasts an extensive repertoire of memorable performances. But now, Michael Caine is saying goodbye at 90 years old. Morris Joseph Micklewhite Jr. was born March 14, 1933, in a working-class neighborhood in East London. He's from a Cockney background. His father was also of Roma descent, keeping the tradition of the English Roma people. He was Morris as he was the eldest son. He later adopted Michael Caine as his stage name and eventually legally changed his name. His early life was marked by the challenges of growing up in post-war Britain. His parents, Alan Maria and Morris Joseph Micklewhite Sr., struggled to make ends meet, and the family lived in a cramped South London apartment. Kane's father, who worked as a porter at the Billingsgate Fish Market, and his mother instilled in him a strong work ethic and the importance of making the most of every opportunity. As a child, he attended the Wilson School in Camberwell, where he showed an early interest in acting. Despite his working-class background, he managed to secure a scholarship to the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art RADA, in London. This was a pivotal moment in his life, as it provided him with the training and skills he needed to pursue a career in the performing arts. He adopted the stage name Michael Caine when he joined the Actors' Union Equity. After completing his training at RADA, Caine began his career in the early 50s, initially taking on small roles in theater and television. His breakthrough came with a supporting role in the 1964 film Zulu, where he played Lieutenant Gonville Bromhead. The film's success catapulted him into the limelight and marked the beginning of his rise to stardom. One of his defining characteristics was his versatility as an actor. He transitioned seamlessly between various genres and roles, showcasing an ability to excel in dramatic and comedic parts. His distinctive Cockney accent and charismatic presence endeared him to audiences around the world. His early life experiences undoubtedly influenced the authenticity he brought to his roles. His working-class roots lent a genuine quality to his performances that resonated with audiences. He was not just an actor, he was a relatable figure who represented the aspirations of many from similar backgrounds. In 1966, he received his first Academy Award nomination for his role in Alfie, where he portrayed the charming and morally complex title character. The film's success solidified his status as a leading man in the film industry. He continued to garner critical acclaim and awards recognition for his roles in films like The Cider House Rules, The Dark Knight Trilogy, and The Italian Job. His work ethic and dedication to his craft were evident throughout his his career. He immersed himself in his roles, conducting extensive research, and adapting his appearance and mannerisms to suit each character. Outside of his acting career, his personal life also underwent significant changes. He married Shakira Baksh in 1973, and the couple has enjoyed a lasting and successful marriage. Let's have a look at some of his best career achievements. Michael Caine's Acting Journey We've briefly mentioned Michael Caine's best acting roles. Let's take a closer look. Zulu, 1964 In Zulu, he made his breakthrough as Lieutenant Gonville Braunhead. This historical epic, set during the Anglo-Zulu War, marked the early stages of his career. His portrayal of a British officer facing insurmountable odds in a battle against Zulu warriors showcased his charismatic presence and acting abilities. Alfie, 1966 Alfie marked a pivotal moment in in Kane's career, earning him that first Academy Award nomination. His charismatic and morally complex portrayal of Alfie, a womanizer navigating romantic entanglements in 1960s London, solidified his status as a leading man. The Italian Job, 1969 As Charlie Croker in The Italian Job, Kane demonstrated his knack for playing charming, confident, and charismatic characters. The film's heist caper, centered around a daring gold robbery in Italy, became a cult classic. Kane's iconic line, you were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off, has become part of cinema history. The Ipcris File, 1965 In this British spy thriller, Kane portrayed Harry Palmer, a working-class British intelligence officer with a penchant for anti-establishment attitudes. His portrayal of Palmer was a stark contrast to the suave James Bond archetype, offering a more realistic and relatable take on espionage. Sleuth, 1972 Michael Kane teamed up with Lawrence 
Olivier in the psychological thriller Sleuth. Kane portrayed Milo Tyndall, a role that showcased his ability to engage in a battle of wits with another legendary actor. The film's intense cat-and-mouse game, fueled by Kane's nuanced performance, was a masterclass in suspense. Dressed to Kill Kane played Dr. Robert Elliott in Brian De Palma's suspenseful thriller Dressed to Kill. His role as the enigmatic psychiatrist embroiled in a murder mystery added a layer of intrigue and suspense to the film. Hannah and Her Sisters Woody Allen's Hannah and Her Sisters from 1986 featured Kane in the role of Elliot, a neurotic man who falls in love with his wife's sister. His performance earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. The Cider House Rules 1999 Kane played Dr. Wilbur Larch in The Cider House Rules. His character, the benevolent yet morally complex director of an orphanage and obstetrics clinic, added emotional depth and poignancy to the film's narrative. He earned an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Michael Caine is saying goodbye at 90 years old. Michael Caine surprised fans when he attended the London screening of The Great Escaper. Accompanied by his wife, Shakira Caine, and his two daughters, Dominique and Natasha, the veteran actor looked sharp in a navy blue ensemble. Caine's use of a walking stick raised concerns about his health. His wife, Shakira, revealed earlier this year that he had undergone back surgery for spinal stenosis, a condition that narrows the spinal canal, causing back and leg pain. In an interview, view with The Telegraph, Kane suggested that The Great Escaper might be his last film. He expressed his love for the character he played and how he enjoyed the process of filming after a three-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, he hinted at his retirement, stating his age and physical health as the reasons. In The Great Escaper, Kane reunites with the late actress Glenda Jackson 47 years after they starred together in director Joseph Losey's The Romantic Englishwoman. The film is based on on the true story of Bernard Jordan, a British World War II veteran. Jordan's story inspired many, symbolizing the resilient spirit of a generation. The plot of The Great Escaper explores the reality of war and old age with a touch of humor and empathy. As Michael Caine steps back from the limelight, his legacy continues to inspire many. Sadly, he's saying goodbye at 90 years old, but his legacy will live on for much longer. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite of Michael Caine's many roles? Let us know in the comments section below.